Hey everyone, we're going to have a conversation today, or maybe this ends up becoming a rant or a statement, but if you guys recall, I recently did a video on Doom, which you can check out up here, about how the developers were defending their choice of like 30 FPS and sub 720p resolution at times, and how they're upset with gamers and how they should be focusing on other things. And throughout all this, I read all of your comments, literally every comment, the 170 plus comments on there, and... I understand some of the sentiments, but one thing that we're going to talk about, one thing that I was going to mention in Prime Comments until I realized, you know what, this needs to have its own video, is the idea of why people chastise ports on Wii U and are excited about the ports on Switch. Because there are legit people that are, right now, I'm one of them, that are praising ports that have come to Switch uh, that also destroyed them coming to Wii U. And, how, and why some people feel like it's a comparable situation. So first let's start off with how ports were treated on Wii U. So when Wii U released in 2012, it got ports of games like FIFA, it got ports of games like Madden, NBA 2K, and uh, you know Mass Effect 3 I think was in there as well. I th there was a bevy of ports that kind of came in. Assassin's Creed, although Assassin's Creed itself was actually a pretty high quality port in my personal opinion. There were issues with these ports. The big criticism was that FIFA was a prior version of the game, right? A prior release of the game skinned to say it was the new version of FIFA when it never was. It had missing features. And in general, it was literally just a reskinned older version of the game. You'll notice that when I say that, what is it that's true with FIFA on Switch? It's a, a reskinned older version of the game that's missing features. Uh, the, the two games, in terms of how EA treated both platforms, seem very similar. So this is, that, that's one way that people get comparisons. NBA 2K on the platform had sacrifices that ended up not making it on par with NBA 2K on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. And likewise, there are sacrifices for NBA 2K 18 on Switch compared to Xbox One and PlayStation 4. And just to throw other examples out there, Mass Effect 3 had lots of issues. Forget the pricing of the Mass Effect trilogy and yada, yada, yada. Mass Effect 3 had severe frame rate issues, just massive frame rate. It was dropping down into the teens, and personally for me, when I played it, down into the single digits. Completely unacceptable. And you compare that to things like the Doom port, where it was 60 FPS and close to 1080p on other platforms, although they use dynamic resolution scalers as well. So, uh, like, when Switch dips below 720p, it's because of the dynamic resolution scaler. Same thing on the other platforms. They never really stayed at 1080p, 60fps. You probably didn't notice while playing. That's the, that's the benefit of resolution scalers, is that while you're playing, you're really not going to notice the dips, but they were there. But the Switch version's obviously worse. In fact, Doom on Switch is going to be the worst version of games and so there's some criticism out there that me and others are praising these worst version ever ports on switch that killed it on wii u and that the situations are comparable they're not let me explain so when wii u came out in 2012 the power of the platform was practically on par with Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, the current gen platforms at that time. Now, yes, we do know a year later, Xbox One and PlayStation 4 released. And it is fair to say Wii U is significantly behind those platforms. But a lot of the multi-platform games that came out for those, like, like Assassin's Creed Black Flag, uh, Call of Duty, etc., also came out on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. In fact, the multi-platform games that came out on Xbox One and PlayStation 4 continued to come out on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 the following year, which at that point would have been the Wii U's third holiday. Now, by the Wii U's third holiday period, it was no longer getting third-party multi-platform support. That's a key thing to remember as well. So Wii U, in terms of its capabilities, was pretty much on par with an Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. It was more powerful in some aspects and a little less powerful in others. Essentially because it used an APU, its GPU power, its raw graphics capabilities, were higher. But its CPU was a little bit worse than what was in the Xbox 360, so it had a little bit less CPU headroom. This is why games would, would have needed custom work. This is why you couldn't just take a game 
throw it on Wii U and it would just magically run. They would have to go in and optimize the game for the platform. But in general, if they bother to optimize the game for the platform, it could run as well as it did on 360 and PlayStation 3. Unfortunately, companies didn't do that on Wii U. They didn't take the time to try to optimize the game for the platform. They either just threw the original code at the platform and it ran like crap, like what probably happened with Mass Effect 3, and they just left it be. Or, in optimizing for it, they realized, hey, we don't want to optimize it. If we just give you an older version of the game, it runs just fine, and we don't have to do any changes. This is what EA kind of did, and they washed their hands of it. Switch is not in that same situation. Here is why people are willing to accept the ports on Switch being at a lower quality. And no, it's not what you think. It's not because it's a tablet, right? It's because it's not on par with the systems of the day it came out. Wii U released in 2012 and was just as powerful as an Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Switch came out in 2017 and is not even half as powerful as an Xbox One, which is the lowest, you know, in terms of raw power situation of the current generation of consoles. So you have the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, the base models, and Switch at best, at best, with all the the metrics and testing out there, is at half the power of an Xbox One. So, when you bring ports of today's AAA games that only come out on Xbox One and PlayStation 4, do not have Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 versions, over to the Switch, obviously it's not going to be on par. This is why I say that I am accepting of the realities of ports on Switch. And this is why I don't get upset when things come across my table, like Doom being 30 FPS instead of 60 FPS, or being sub 1080p and because of the the dynamic resolution scaler occasionally sub 720p on wii u i've heard some people say if this game was on wii u that would be unacceptable would it i mean (laughs) pretty much zero xbox 360 and playstation 3 games pretty much there were some ran at 30 fps and sub 720p like it happened a lot uh in doom is a game that was only ever made for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. It was never made with older hardware, less powerful systems in mind. So if it was brought to a system like Wii U and it ran as well as it does on Switch, that would actually be impressive. Because there are people who still own Wii U's out there. After all, Wii U was only discontinued last year. So we have to consider the two situations of Switch and Wii U when having this conversation. Wii U released as an on-par in terms of raw performance platform with the systems that were out in the day and on par with the platforms even for the next couple years that were getting versions of the games that the Wii U could have gotten, right? The Wii U could have gotten Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 ports of games for the next two years. It just didn't happen beyond Assassin's Creed Black Flag and Watch Dogs. Now, moving beyond that, the Switch is not on par graphically. Now, we know why it's not on par graphically. It's because it's a portable system. It's because it's using mobile technology in a tablet form. We know why it's not as powerful as an Xbox One or PlayStation 4, because mobile technology is not there yet to be as powerful as an Xbox One and PlayStation 4 at the base levels. So that's that's why it's not as powerful. But the reason that it's acceptable isn't because it's a tablet, isn't because it's X, Y, or Z. It's just because it's half the power of an Xbox One. That's why I bring up things like realistic expectations. It was realistic on Wii U to expect the full current-gen version of Madden, the full current-gen version of FIFA, the full current-gen version of Mass Effect 3, an old port. It was reasonable for all of these third-party games that released on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 to run on Wii U as well as it ran on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. And not only run as well, be the current versions of today's game. But that's not what happened. The Wii U was capable. The Switch isn't. This is something we have to consider when we talk about games like FIFA 18. I've often compared FIFA 18 as comparable to the treatment EA gave Wii U. And reality is, it is. EA is treating Switch the same way they treated Wii U. The difference with Switch is it's a little bit more justified because the platform is half as powerful as the platforms they created the game for in the first place.
So I hate that it's using older gen stuff. I hate that it's this. I hate that it's that. I hate that it's missing features. And there's nothing I could do about that because these are choices EA made internally. And while as much as I believe they could have made better choices along the way, actually ported Frostbite over to Switch, yada, 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 reality is that it is more acceptable because the Switch is not playing in the same field that Wii U was in 2012. So really... I think there's just this general misunderstanding of games in today's world. Misunderstanding of platforms. A lot of Nintendo fans, fans of Switch in particular, will throw out the fact that, well, we got to remember, these games are running on a tablet. They're running on a tablet. They're running on a tablet! And that's the reason. That's the reason it's acceptable. No. The reason that these ports are acceptable in the forms that they are taking. Even NBA 2K18, which now has added the ability to play with friends, so now I basically have zero complaints about it other than the fact I wish they would give it the Fire Emblem Warriors treatment where you have a performance mode where you can get 60 FPS but really, you know, pretty crappy visuals or resolution, or a quality mode where you get 30 FPS and you get, you know, better looking visuals. I actually hope that all games start doing this on even Xbox One and PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One X and the PlayStation 4 Pro. I actually think this is something console-wise needs to exist. If you're not going to let us mess with all the individual settings, just give us a, a 60 FPS mode versus a 30 FPS mode. And you can advertise using the higher quality asset mode, but, you know, let gamers kind of decide how we want to play the game? Do we want the better visuals or do we want the better frame rate? That pleases everyone. Then everyone's happy. But NBA 2K18 on Switch is magical. I play a ton of it. And the reason that its sacrifices are more acceptable is because this platform is not on par. I mean, it. it I wish I had a... Well, here... Uh, you know what? I don't want to break my equipment, but this is like a mic drop moment. <laughs> like, boom, mic drop. Walk off the stage. I'm, 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 I'm still talking. Right. right. Okay, exiting stage left. Yeah. But wait, there's more! I am Nintendo Ruffle Jets from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. Let me know, seriously, folks, what you think about this whole Wii U versus Switch and how third parties are treating both platforms in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Do you feel like it's not a comparable situation because the Wii U was on par with the systems of the day while the Switch is not? I feel like that's the biggest argument on why I think the Doom port is actually one of the best ports and the NBA I think NBA 2K18 and the Doom port those two ports are some of the best third party ports that have ever happened on a Nintendo platform uh dating back to maybe the GameCube days. I know I'm get, I'm getting crazy here. Anyways folks, thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next one. The next one. The next one which will be prime comments. Peace out.